The next question I was asked by Dr. Aliu Landa. He was uh, explaining that he's performed a, a, a series of uh, revisions for carpal tunnel surgery uh, years after the primary procedure, and he's found the uh, transverse carpal ligament to be intact. And he adds that he definitely trusted the, uh, the work performed by the previous surgeons. So he's wondering whether it will be beneficial to resect part of the transverse carpal ligament or to use the cautery to basically cauterize the edges of the divided transverse carpal ligament. I don't know. Um, to me, less invasive is better. So I perform most of my revisions um, under um, uh, within um, endoscopically. And so I do take a good look at the um, uh, transverse carpal ligament. And it is true that often it looks pristine many years after the primary surgery. Um, and so I will divide the ligament again, but I will do so only if I see it perfectly. So I need, if I need to use the synovial elevator, synovium elevator to, to, you know, scrape the transverse carpal ligament to make sure I can see it properly, then I will safely divide. If not, then I may decide to do the revision uh, open and then it's a more uh, invasive procedure. Now, resecting the transverse carpal ligament would require an open procedure, which I try to avoid because I prefer um, less invasive techniques that allow uh, less scarring, less pain, and a, a faster recovery. Um, and that I don't think I could perform endoscopically. Um, and when it comes to uh, using the cautery, obviously it's the same answer. I, I, I don't do it and I don't think it's necessary. Um, so far, I mean, revising endoscopically works be works, uh, works very well in most cases. I think uh, it's worth reminding that I believe that most cases of recurring symptoms after a, a carpal tunnel release are probably due to an entrapment of the median nerve more proximally. So probably um, up here under the Lacerdus or what's used to be called the pronator syndrome, and that is more a syndrome of pronation than the opposite. Uh, so um, that's the answer. My, my revisions are mostly endoscopic, and I think it's important to stress that you should always look for a more proximal entrapment, both at the time of the initial evaluation or when you're dealing with a recurrence or with uh, new symptoms.